uh, there is a Jupiter and Saturn. Um, so I think it's a little bit harder to see with um, Jovian planets, but I think you can still see the direct motion. Um, so I'm gonna zoom in here. And I've chosen a time when they are close to the ground so that I have some stable reference to use. So, and uh, I want you to note that I'm looking generally westward. So when these planets move away from ground, they are moving eastward. When they are moving towards ground, they are moving westward. Okay. So hopefully that's clear. So when we talk about direct motion, can I pause this? Okay, yeah, I can pause it. So when we talk about planetary motion, we're not really talking about the motion that they undergo over a course of a day, because over a course of a day, the, the way planets move is the exact same way anything else moves, like the uh, stars or the sun. So, um, so when we talk about planetary motion, we are talking about motion that takes uh, place over, over at least a day and usually many days. So here, let me advance this to uh, the next day. And right now I want you to notice the position of Jupiter and Saturn. And is that one of moons of Jupiter or? Yeah, that's moon of Jupiter, so that won't help. Um, is that? Okay, that's a star. So <laughs> you see that very faint star there? I want you to notice the relative position of Saturn and Jupiter relative to that very faint star, or maybe even this faint star. So I'm gonna advance this to tomorrow. So tomorrow, okay, they've moved around a little bit. So I'm gonna change the time so that the star positions are around where they used to be. And um, and yeah, this is what I was afraid of. The How they changed, it's not quite obvious. <laughs> um, so, um, okay. okay, let me try to use a, a zoom annotation tools here. I think that's gonna help. So let me just to draw this. And uh, I'm gonna, as I advance each day, I'm gonna try to bring this star back to this position. Um, so let me advance one more day. Ah, zoom annotation doesn't stay above the thing. Um, all right, uh, let me give up on, <laughs> so it's a little bit harder. Well, let me see. Uh, I think if I move a larger period of day, then you can still see the direct motion. Uh, let me move it by one week. So I'm gonna go all the way up to New Year's and I will um, bring, turn back the time so that they are back. Oh, I don't even, okay, I think I moved to too many days. I don't even recognize the other stars. <laughs> let me pick a better time to do this. Um, uh, let's see, do I? Um, so let me go back to today. I, I think uh, what I really should do is I should advance the time until uh, Jupiter and Saturn are near some more recognized brighter stars. Those are way too, um, way too faint. You don't want to really. So let me just uh, keep advancing the time. And I think uh, as I do that, um, as I advance the days, I think you can kind of see that Saturn is uh, moving away from the star little by little. And well, and Jupiter is moving away from Saturn. And the way they are moving away, they, they are kind of, um, so, you know, west is downward here. So as they're moving away, they are moving eastward. So, so that's the direct motion. It's something that you recognize as you observe, uh, I'm gonna get rid of atmosphere so my sky doesn't get bright. <laughs> atmosphere gone. <laughs> So, so that's a direct motion that as you observe these planets day over day, you see that they are moving relative to the sta uh, stationary background of stars. And typically they move eastward and that's direct motion. Retrograde motion happens more um, rarely. 
So um, I looked up the dates. Um, so it was what, 2020, August to something. And I was looking at Mars, so I'll do that again. So August, uh, let me start at August 15th. Uh, I need to find the Mars. Where's Mars? Oh, wait, uh, I have a search thing. I think I can just uh, search for Mars. Oh. Um, I'm gonna pick a time of the day when Mars is up. Okay, and uh, it's actually day, but you know, because this earth has no atmosphere, um, it, it, I can still see Mars. So, so um, well, let's see how Mars moves uh, around this time. I think uh, at the beginning of the period, Mars should still be under direct motion. So let me see, I'm gonna advance this by one day. And, so as I advance each day, I'm just bringing the time back by a few minutes so that Mars stays around here and or the, these star patterns stay at about the same place. And I want you to notice in what direction Mars is moving right now. That um, You can see that Mars is moving away from ground. And since we are uh, looking westward, Mars is moving um, eastward. That's the eastward direct motion. And the special thing about this time period should be that at some point, Mars should reverse its direction of motion and move the other way. Let's see if that happens. Mm. I'm gonna advance this quite a bit. No, Mars is still moving east. Um, possible I misread the date. Did I misread the date? Um, just need to, I'm just gonna advance the days until I start seeing Mars um, in a retrograde motion. Ah, uh, I, wait, is it yet? I think it is in retrograde or it's beginning to start the retrograde motion. Okay, yeah. So around here is when Mars is in retrograde motion. So, um, so, uh, so you, I'm kind of looking at Mars and this is start here. So um, back in August, Mars was moving away from the stars uh, in the eastward direction. And now the Mars will be moving westward. So let me advance about five days. And I'm gonna bring this back so that the same star pattern is back up here. The Mars is now closer to this star, so it's moved westward. And that's called the retrograde motion. It's, uh, uh, you know, it's moving backward from its usual direction. And uh, much of the debate around, well, the, much of the astronomical models, uh, one of the things that they had to do was explain this retrograde motion. And Ptolemy's, uh, the epicycles does that, and it's uh, the scientific model that's lasted for a thousand years until heliocentric model came along and um, uh, and more accurately, eventually more accurately and correctly described the motion of astronomical bodies. <laughs>